Hey guys, welcome back. I'm thrilled to have you here today because I'm going to discuss a powerful integration between Asana and Lead Connector. So guys, Lead Connector is a gray label mobile app developed by Go High Level platform which is a sales and marketing tool for agency professionals and Asana is a really powerful project management application. And guys, I'm going to show you how you can integrate these two applications for managing your tasks. So guys, if you use this automation, this is going to boost your productivity a lot and you can save a lot of your time. And guys, we can set up this automation without any coding. So let me show you how you can do this. To set up the workflow of automation, we are using Pavli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pavli Connect. You can find the link of this page in the description as well. From here, you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So guys, sign up right now from the given link and after that you can sign in and reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect. From here, click on this Create Workflow button. Here you can provide a suitable name to this workflow. So let me give a name here. So I have given the name like this. Now I'm clicking on Create button and you can see the workflow page is loading up here. And on this page, guys, you will find the basic building blocks of our automation, which are the trigger and the action. So guys, in our use case, we want that whenever we create a task in Asana, this task will be created in lead connector as well. So here the trigger would be uh, Asana. Here we are going to select Asana as a trigger application and the trigger event would be to create a task here. So I'm going to select the trigger event as new task in project then click on connect button from here select add new connection and here click on connect with asana to connect and it might bring you to the login window of asana if you are not logged in but i have already logged in here so just it is just going to be get connected here you can see the authorization is successful and we are connected and here it is asking to select the project where you want to create tasks. So here is uh, my Asana application and uh, I have these projects here right now you can see in the left hand side. So this is the project I'm working on named as Pavli Tasks. Okay, so I'm going to select Pavli Tasks project here. All right, and after selecting the project, we have this save and send test request button here, click on it and, and it will start showing waiting for the response. Okay. So we have connected with Asana and here it is waiting for a response. This means now we can perform a test submission. Test submission means now I'm going to manually create a task in Asana, a test task. And the data of that test task will be captured here in the response. And with the help of that data, we are going to move forward in the automation. So I'm going back to my project. And here, let me just uh, click on this add task button. Okay, and here you can give a name to this task. So I'm giving the uh, name as let's say new task. New task. And from here, let me add the details of the task. I am adding an uh, assignee here. Okay, the due date. Here you can provide a description as well. Okay, this is the small description I have provided and uh, now uh, I'm going to close this task. Okay, and here as you just create the task, just enter the name, the details of the task will be captured here. In so here you can see guys, we got the data captured of the task like this. And in this task, you can see when, uh, when you just enter the name of the task, it will capture the data. And here it will not show you the name of the task right now. It is just going to show you the project name, Pabli task. Here you can see uh, in the data name label, it is showing just N. Okay. And here you can see it is a, the type of the task is task and the workspace name is here, but we do not have the details of the task. So to get the details of the task, we are going to use this action window. And here we are, we are going to connect with Asana again. Okay. And with the help of an action event, which is called get a task. Here is get a task option. We can find out the details of the task that we have captured in the previous trigger. Okay. So here click on connect button 
and we are already connected with Asana so I'm going to use the existing connection just click on save and you will be connected again and here it is asking for the task ID so guys you will get the task ID from the previous <coughs> step from the trigger you can see we have received this uh, data GID label in which we got this ID so I'm going to map this ID label here in this step just click here and from the first step map this ID okay and then click on save and send test request button <clears throat> and here in the response section you can see we have received all other details related to the task like the assignee name is here and when you scroll down you will get the task name task notes and the modification date of the task okay right so all other things are also fetched here and you can see we have received the due date as well now after getting this data uh, I want to create a, the same task in lead connector as well so just click here on this plus icon <clears throat> and here just search for lead connector version 2 okay select v2 and the action event would be create a task so select create task option here it is selected then click on connect button from here select add new connection then click on connect with lead connector <clears throat> so it can bring you to the login window but I am I have already logged in so it will just ask me to select the uh, the agency's account or the sub account so I am selecting my sub account and you can see it is getting connected All right, and after getting connected here, it will ask for the contact ID. So here you can select the contact ID if you have. Uh, let me just select uh, this one. Okay, here it is asking for the title of the task, description of the task, due date, and the completion, true or false. So I'm going to map this data from the previous step. Okay, so to map the data, you just click here, and from the second step, you can find the title of the task in this uh, name label here it is just map it here similarly find the description from the second step only from the second step you will find the description here this is the notes uh, label here you'll find the description for the due date you can map the due date as well here you'll find the due date here it is but you can see in this example you have to enter the due date in this format so we just have the yy mm and dd now you can put manually here a capital t okay then you can put this time as it is or just put 00 colon 00 colon 00 and a z okay or capital z right so just I have entered the same format and here I am going to mark this as false because the task is not yet completed if you want to assign this task to any user inside a lead connector you can assign that too now you can check your connection with lead connector by clicking on save and send test request button and a new task will appear here inside uh, the lead connector here is my lead connector application and these are the tasks list let me just click on save and send test request button and show you how the task is going to appear automatically okay you can see guys we got this task id created that means we have a new task here let's see i'm just going to refresh this page here and here you can see guys we got a new task created uh, with this name new task and this is due at this date this is assigned to this person and the, uh, you can see in the notes testing automation these are all the things I have mapped here you can see new task testing automation due date was 14 okay and the same is here right so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and we have integrated Asana with lead connector and you have to do it only once after that it is going to work automatically whenever you are going to add a new task in Asana, a new task in Asana the same will be created in lead connector automatically and I'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description so that you can clone this workflow in your own free Pavli connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application 
please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel